to make award-winning chocolate, we have to source the best cocoa, and we've done that. Our farmers really know how to produce and harvest and then also ferment fine cocoa. And at the, at the heart of what we do, we also sweeten with raw honey. So we have this, this standard for cocoa that we source. At the same time, we only use a sweetener and ingredients that we know where they come from. I started making chocolate in a dorm room with my girlfriend at the time and we decided on the name Honeymoon Chocolates as the name of this pet project that we turned into a business. And from there, we had a, a pitch competition that I had signed up for. We made our first batch of chocolate and we presented this idea to this panel of judges that we have honey sweetened chocolate. We even had our own packaging made. And we ended up winning that fellowship. We were awarded $5,000, which at the time was, it was incredible. It, just being able to have the a year of mentoring on top of the funding was fantastic to growing our brand. And then we quickly found out $5,000 was enough to get us ingredients, and that was it. So we ran a Kickstarter campaign. We raised about $7,000 from all of our friends and family, and it was, it was an incredible way to spread what we were doing. But our goal was 25, and we fell short of that again. And funding just wasn't possible with two um, undergraduate students. So. We ran out of money. Haley came here to St. Louis to pursue her MD at St. Louis University. And shortly thereafter, I came down after I graduated and joined her. And while enrolling at WashU for my MBA, I was also full-time at WashU as an accountant. And that was whenever I realized that Honeymoon could still work. It could still, if I put in two hours a day, if I put in five hours on the weekend, we could start getting some traction, some revenue, and down the road, I wouldn't have to necessarily do accounting. We started selling at farmer's markets in the winter of 2019, and the, the goal was just, just to start making some money. But what we found was a community that was willing to support you, regardless of what you made. We had really bad chocolate but they really wanted to support you. And that was our, our training ground. We sampled chocolate everywhere. And the community that we had at Tower Grove, Farmer's Market, at the Boulevard Farmer's Market, it gave us a baseline and a family to kind of grow our business and workshop the idea. We didn't understand there was a dark side to the cocoa industry in the beginning, but we figured out pretty quickly that we could make a difference by sourcing products at a, at a fair wage. As we started diving into the sourcing aspect, we found that the quality actually improved as well. Our honey comes from an apiarist out of Bourbon, Missouri. It's all wildflower and clover honey, and it adds some complexity to the flavor. The chocolate melts faster, but we're still able to get it to set up at room temperature, which is kind of our trade secret. So we just opened up our new factory space here in Clayton. We serve drinking chocolate, coffee, as well as tastings for all of our dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Our chocolate is special because we source really wholesome ingredients and we pay a fair price for them. <laughs>